Am I about to close this massive Bitcoin swing long trade? And more importantly, are we about to see the price of Bitcoin dump straight down to Carolina? For the past week, the Bitcoin price action has been very slow and questionable, kind of like this. And today, the July monthly candle is going to close, and that will determine whether or not I close this juicy swing long trade, the setup that we gave in advance in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. So today, we're going to be diving into the charts. I'm going to be telling you why I'm going to be closing this trade and the next massive trade that I am looking to enter. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure to click that bell for notifications because you do not want to miss one of the most timely and juiciest Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. The Bitcoin price right now is between two massive, massive levels. First of all, to the downside, we have this green box coming in between $28,500 and $29,500. This is a multi-year support resistance flip going all the way back to December 2020. It also has very nice confluence with the 20-week moving average. And just by looking at the chart, we can see that if we lose this level, we can expect a swift and a fast move to the downside. However, just above us, we also have a massively important resistance. And just to build a little bit of context about the resistance above us, we need to be looking at the weekly time frame, acknowledging the fact that we have been in a massive uptrend since November 2022. But we're seeing to peter out up here as the Bitcoin price has made a higher high but when we zoom in we can see that we never actually close a weekly candle above that previous high in fact for four weeks we tried but we kept wicking to the downside this can be classified as a failed swing high or a swing failure pattern where the price fails to actually close the candle above the level failing to make a new swing high in which then we can expect a massive pullback to the downside. In addition, when we look at market cipher B, we are seeing that as the price is getting higher, failing to close the candle above the previous high, market cipher B on the weekly is getting lower, giving us the very bearish Elizabeth Warren eyebrow pattern, where as the price is getting higher on her forehead, the lips are getting a little bit lower. This is called a bearish divergence. And when we see this, especially on these higher term timeframes, we can expect a pretty significant pullback to the downside. And after making that failed swing high on the weekly time frame with the Elizabeth Warren eyebrow pattern, we can also see that locally we are changing market structure. On the way up, we were making higher highs and higher lows in an uptrend, but now we've officially made a lower low, right? We've taken out that last higher low in the uptrend. And so what does this mean? This means it becomes more and more probable that any rise we get to the upside will result in a lower high now being put in. And then we could say this is actually a reversal. And so just by looking at this chart, we can see that we have a very, very crucial zone of resistance above us. And if the Bitcoin price cannot reclaim this very key zone, then I will absolutely be closing my swing long trade. Let's take a look at the chart right here. If we see we have this zone between around $30,100 and about $30,300, why is this zone so important? Well, first of all, in this area, we have the high volume node of all the price action that Bitcoin has been trading all the way back since Wednesday, June 21st, the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, and well, in the Northern Hemisphere. And we can also see that if we take our Fibonacci from the high, to the low that we put in, it's also the zone coming in right between the 0.5 Fib and the 618 Fibonacci. Also, if we just take a look at this level, we can see that we have one, two, three times that the price actually found resistance at this level right around that 0.5 Fibonacci. Now, the 0.5 Fibonacci is basically you know, the, the the ugly younger sister of the 618 Fibonacci, right? No one pays attention to her. She has a beard. She's not that pretty. But we need to be paying attention to her now because right now we can see there's a lot of other confluences right here in this area, including a very, very high volume node. So for me, if we get a move up to this box right here, I'm going to be looking for a short trade. I'm going to be looking for bearish divergences. I'm going to be looking for Elizabeth Warren eyebrow pattern on the lower time frame. If we get a move up to this zone where I will look to enter a juicy short trade, something like this, and my final target would be somewhere down around the mid 26,000s where we have our next major zone of support. If we come up here and then we lose this key box to the downside, I am going to be closing the juicy swing long trade, the setup we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. 
And of course, I'm going to be holding the juicy swing short trade that we also gave in advance in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. By the way, if you want to join the community where every single day we are giving our trade ideas, our levels, our setups, multiple live streams every weekday, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com. Go ahead and click the link to join the VIP Discord. If you want to learn how we trade, check out the 25% discount on both courses. Links in the pinned comment and description of this video. Guys, this is not a signals group, but you will learn a lot and really enrich your trading. Also, if you want to take advantage of the volatility of these markets, longing and shorting Bitcoin and altcoins, in the description and the pinned comment, links to my favorite exchanges, MEXC, the best deal on trading fees out there, 0% limit order fees, 0.01% market order fees. An amazing deal, especially for people who are trading and scalping on the lower term time frames. My other go-to exchange is ZoomX, a centralized and a decentralized exchange on the same platform. This year, the Casper crew is participating in the World Series of Trading on ZoomX. Last year, guys, when we did this on Bybit, I think we were number 14. We were definitely in the top 20. This year, guys, we're going to be doing it on ZoomX. If you want to join, if you're a bad trader, it will not negatively affect the team. But if you are one of the top 10 traders, our PNL is put together for the prize pool up to $7 million. A whole bunch of other cool things if you want to join. Links in the description and pinned comment during the competition. There are lots of giveaways as well as a 20% discount on all trading fees. Definitely a good time if you're interested in trading along with us for the World Series of Trading. And there are two potential scenarios that could play out here. Number one is the more bullish scenario, similar to what we saw back in 2015. After the cycle bottomed out, about a year before the Bitcoin halving, we got that bullish engulfing candle on the monthly, closed above this 20-week moving average, and literally it was also the we could not close a monthly candle below this 20 moving average all the way till the top of the bull market in 2018. Now, the second scenario, which is a little bit more bearish, is once the bottom of the cycle is in, we actually do close a monthly candle below that 20 week moving average, which gives us a massive opportunity to accumulate Bitcoin before the halving. And the halving happened probably, I think it was around the summer of 2020. Right, we can accumulate Bitcoin leading to the halving, in which case we can get a big move to the upside. So in my opinion, this is a win-win situation. The one thing that makes this situation right here very unique is the massive confluence that we're seeing right now between the 20-week moving average and this three-year support resistance flip with one day and 11 hours away from this monthly candle close. Keep in mind what has happened here. Bullish engulfing on the monthly. Coming back down to retest a massive support resistance flip are we going to see another big move to the upside right now in the coming weeks? Well, the reality is we cannot know for certain what's going to happen, but what we can do now is use this very key zone as a line in the sand, a line of demarcation telling us how we are going to manage our positions moving forward. We understand if we lose and close a monthly candle below this level, it becomes very bearish. And now we can look for these bearish divergences on the high term timeframes to play out. However, if we hold this level that is objectively bullish with the market structure and we can look for another push to the upside, which in my opinion is going to take us to around that $35,000 level where I personally will be looking for a local top where we can experience a more significant pullback in this local uptrend. So this is it guys, 28.5 thousand to 29.5 thousand. That is the line in the sand for Bitcoin for the next few months. Make sure to keep your eyes on the chart. That's going to be it for today's video. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are super blessed. And I will see everybody in the next video. Peace. Now, although this market structure is very bearish, objectively speaking, it would behoove us all to keep in mind that the box below us is still very, very major support. And when we look at what has happened in the past along the way up, basically, we kind of get that failed swing high, we change market structure, one last big drop, and then a huge pump. So we need to be ready for a potential massive drop and then a huge pump. So as the price comes down to this box, we need to be watching the four hour market cipher B for the following signal. We want to see as the price is getting lower into the green box, continued upside for the money flow and the momentum waves on market cipher B, right? We want this thing to basically look like Sam Bankman frieds chesticles. As the price is getting lower, the mammary glands are getting higher, the money flow is getting higher, the green nipples are getting higher, even the fro is getting higher to the right side, showing us 
a massive pump. Look at this face. He's ready to rat out all his friends to get out of jail. You can tell that's very bullish for the Bitcoin price. And so if we get a dip down into this box, and instead of seeing the Elizabeth Warren eyebrow pattern, we're seeing the Sam Bankman fried man breast pattern. Then we can say to ourselves, you know what? There's a really good chance this was a fake out. And now we can expect another move to the upside. So these are the two trading ideas that I pretty much have for Bitcoin. Guys, let me know what you think about this price action. Let me know your thoughts. I look forward to reading the comments. So leave one down below. Do you think I'm a total idiot? Do you think I'm the worst trader in the world? Do you have the same trading idea? Let me know. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. May God bless everybody in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are blessed. Also, guys, I'm officially now sponsored by Peregrine Coffee Roasters. They made me my own blend. Look, if you're looking for a great organic Sumatra that does not shrink your grapes because it's organic and not loaded with pesticides, check it out, guys. This company is doing absolutely amazing things just in general. So if you're looking for some coffee, check it out. Link in the description. All right, peace.